Let us now take the first model from circular arrangements where we are going to solve a simple circular arrangement. As I have already mentioned, in case of simple circular arrangement, we need to arrange the given group of persons around a circular table. Before we take up an example, let us quickly revise the two points that we have just discussed. The first point was regarding the direction sense, that is the left or a right of a person when they are arranged around a circular table. We know that there are two possible cases, either the persons are facing center or they are facing outwards. So when the persons are facing center, left of the person should be taken in the clockwise direction and right of the person should be taken in the anti-clockwise direction. Whereas when the persons are facing outwards, left should be taken in anti-clockwise direction and right should be taken in the clockwise direction. The second point was the various types of statements that we get. Whenever the conjunction and or but or while is used, we always refer to the first person and whenever the word who is used, we always refer to the second person. So with this knowledge, let us now solve the given circular arrangement. The question here is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are sitting around a circle facing the center. So as given here, there are 8 persons A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H who are sitting around the circle facing the center. Remember, before we solve any circular arrangement, the first rule is we have to count the number of persons and mark their positions. So as we can see here, there are 8 persons. So let us mark the 8 positions around the circle. So these are the 4 positions and the remaining 4 are as shown. So these are the 8 positions around the circle and we know that all of them are facing the center. So left should be in the clockwise direction and right should be in the anti-clockwise direction. Also, whenever persons are facing center, start from bottom of the circle as it is convenient for us to move to the left or right of this person. Now, let us read the given statements one by one and complete the arrangement. The first statement here is H is fourth to the left of B and second to the right of F. As we have discussed, whenever the word and is used, we refer to the first person in the second part of the statement. So here we can break the complete sentence into two parts that is H is fourth to the left of B and H is second to the right of F. So let us now use the first part that is H is fourth to the left of B. As we know that we always start from the bottom of the circle when they are facing center let us assume that B is taking this position. We know that H is fourth to the left of B left of B should be towards our left. So fourth to the left of B should be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this position should be occupied by H. Now the other part of the statement is and second to the right of F. We know that whenever and is used we refer to the first person. So we can say H is second to the right of F. So let us now use that statement to mark the position of F. H is second to the right of F. When H is second to the right of F, it is obvious that F is second to the left of H. So we now know that F should be second to the left of H and left of H should be in the clockwise direction as they are facing center. So second to the left of H, 1 and 2. This place should be occupied by F. So now we have marked three persons H, B and F on the circular table. Let us now take the next statement that is A is third to the left of C who is not an immediate neighbor of F. We have already discussed that whenever the word who is used we always refer to the immediate preceding person that is C. So we can break the given sentence into two parts. The first part is A is third to the left of C and the second part is C is not an immediate neighbor of F. Now, neither A nor C is marked on the circular table. So we cannot use the first part of the given sentence. But the second part says C is not an immediate neighbor of F. So since C is not an immediate neighbor of F, we can say that C cannot come in these two places. And we are indicating that with a cross mark followed by C. Which means C cannot occupy these two places, but it can come in the remaining positions. And the remaining positions which are vacant are 1, 2 and 3. So C can come in any of these three places. 
let us try and find out which is that position out of these three where C should sit. We know that A is third to the left of C. So if C takes this place, A should be third to the left of C, which is nothing but in the clockwise direction. So if C comes here, A should be coming one, two and three places away. That is in this position. But since this place is already occupied by F, we cannot make A sit there. So very clearly C cannot come in this place as well because if C comes here A should come here which is not possible. The second possibility for C is this position. Again if C comes here A should be third to the left of C. So 1, 2 and 3 A should be coming here. So we can say that if C comes here A can come in this place. We are not marking C and A outside the circle because it is not yet confirmed that she should be taking this place. Whatever is tentative, we should always mark within the circle. Once it is fixed, we can bring it out to confirm the position. Now, the next possibility for C is this place. If C comes here, A should be third to the left of C. So third to the left of C should be in the clockwise direction. So if C is here, one, two and three this place should be occupied by a but as this place is already occupied by h a cannot come there and if a cannot come here c cannot come in this position so we can now say that c cannot come in this position as well so as you have seen from the given statement that is a is third to the left of c who is not an immediate neighbor of f we came out with three possibilities for c but out of these three two have been cancelled so now the definite position for C should be this one. So we can now fix C in that place. And if C comes here, A should be coming in this position as A is third to the left of C. So we can say that A comes in this place. So, so far we have marked one, two, three, four and five persons on the table and three more are left out. Let us now take the next statement that is G is second to the left of A. As we already have got the position of A, we can clearly mark the person G. He is second to the left of A. Now left of A is nothing but in the clockwise direction. So second to the left of A should be 1 and 2. So we can say that G comes in this position. As you can see, we have already placed 6 persons on the table and 2 positions are lying vacant, which can be filled with the last statement. That is D is second to the right of E. Now we know that right of E is nothing but in the anti-clockwise direction since the persons here are facing the center. So if E comes in a particular position, D should be in the anti-clockwise direction of E. That is nothing but in this direction. So with this sort of arrangement and these two positions lying vacant, it is very clear that E should come in this place and D should be last place. And as you can see here, D is in the anti-clockwise direction of E. That is nothing but to the right of E. If we place the two persons D and E in an interchange manner, the condition gets violated. So that's how we have to place E and D. So with this, we have finished the given simple circular arrangement. Let us now run through these questions and see what are the correct answers. The first question is, who is on the immediate right of F? We know that F is in this position and right of F is nothing but in the anti-clockwise direction. So the person who comes immediately in the anti-clockwise direction of F is A. So we can say that the person who is on the immediate right of F is A. The second question is who is third to the left of A? Now A is in this position and left of A is in the clockwise direction. So in the clockwise direction, the person who comes third is B. So we can say that B is third to the left of A. The next statement is which of the following pairs has the first person sitting on the immediate left of the second person. So from the given five options we have to check in which of the options the first person is to the left of second person. Now this question can be answered only by eliminating the wrong answer options. The first option here is E and H and as per the given statement, the first person that is E is on the immediate left of H. Now by looking at the positions of E and H, we know that E is 
on the right of h whereas the statement says e is on the left of h so this is the wrong answer the second option is c and e so again c that is the first person is on the immediate left of e if you look at the positions of c and e c is on the right of e so again even option 2 gets cancelled the third option is a f that is a is on the immediate left of f by looking at the positions of a and f we find that a is on the right of f so even third option gets cancelled the fourth option is d b going by the statement the first person d should be on the left of second person b so d should be on the left of b and if you observe from the given arrangement d is on the left of d as d is in the clockwise direction of d so we can say that the fourth option that is d is on the left of b is correct so the answer here is option 4 the fourth question is which of the following pairs represents immediate neighbors of e so we need to find out the immediate neighbors of e and from the arrangement we know that immediate neighbors of e are c and h so the answer for question number four should be c and h they are the immediate neighbors of e the last question here is who is on the immediate right of h we know that right of h should be in the anti-clockwise direction and the person who is immediate on the right of h is e so the answer for question number five here is e so friends as you have seen answering these five questions doesn't take any time but we need to properly do the given circular arrangement before we go for those questions so read the statements properly and in a step-by-step -step procedure you can complete the circular arrangement with the points that we have discussed earlier